Hello, this is Nancy. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. Today I'm going to be using the cedar wooden basket bottoms from BB Craft. Here are some different designs that they have on their site. They have different shapes, different sizes. I'll be using the circle that I received from them, the smaller one of the two. I forgot to hit the record button and I didn't show the beginning of um, me crocheting around the base. Um, all, I, all I'm doing right now is um, doing a single crochet around the whole thing and going as high as I, I want it to go. I was going to use my t-shirt yarn but I did not have enough of it to make a tall basket but um, I have a, another base that I can use in the future um, I will use um, t-shirt yarn because this macrame cord kept on splitting on me and it took a lot longer than, than I wanted to but it came out nice at the end. You're going to go around and around until you get the, to the desired height. Once I got to the desired height, I used some wooden beads that I received from Amazon. I'll link that below. And using some twine, I'm going to weave the beads through the top of the basket. These cedar wooden basket bottoms are great for this basket because it gives you a nice solid bottom. And like I said at the beginning, they have different um, sizes and shapes and designs. Um, BB Craft is a reliable and trusted jewelry craft supplier online. They also have a YouTube program where you can get free products by doing videos for them. All you have to have is 100 subscribers. I'll leave other links down below. On their web website, BB Craft, um, they have different um, designs, like I said, and they have these um, basket bottoms at sides of purses. So you don't have to have them right actually at the bottom. You can ha have them on the front and back of your purse when you crochet around them. Like with any DIY I do, this is just an inspiration. You can de decorate it in any which way you want. I'm adding beads here on the top and I'm also going to add it at the bottom. And I'm also going to add this little sign here. Um, I'm going to use their 12 by 8 inch patchwork burlap fabric that is, has it like a fleece in the back. And it comes with, the tw I believe it's 12 colors, no 15 colors. I'm going to use fabric fix to adhere the two pieces together and then adhere that to the basket itself.
stay tuned for a future video where I use that patchwork burlap fabric. I'm using this container to give a slight curve to this sign because it doesn't fit um, nicely on the basket. And then on the ends, I'm gonna use my pliers. Once I have it to the curve I want, I'm going to start sewing in the ends. I'm just using some twine and my pokey tool because the fabric and the crochet is so thick. And I'm using a dull needle because I couldn't find my other needle to um, sew that on. I left the basket bottom here um, the same color, but you can easily stain these. Um, this one is a 6 inch size. The other one that I received from them was 8 inch. And I'm thinking of making another basket, but I want to stain the bottom. What color should I paint it or stain it? And what color yarn or t-shirt yarn should I use? Leave your answers below. I'm using some fray check around the edges so it doesn't um, fray too much. It, uh, it was um, coming apart a little bit. So with this fray check, it was, uh, not fray, hey. If you're liking this content, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, please do. Share with your friends, comment below, say hi. Here's the finished basket. Like I said, I added beads to the outside of the bottom, but you can design this in any which way you want. And I'm using this one to store all my tumbling tower blocks. It's about 11 inches tall, so it's a good size, and it looks pretty on my desk. Until next time, be brave, be strong, and create.